Hey everyone, Ultraviolet4 here, and this is part 7 of Centaur Air Elementalist. First things first, I'm really sorry. So I completely forgot to explain what chucking a wobbly is. So if you've been hanging out for that one, <laughs> every episode, am I going to learn now? What's chucking a wobbly? No. Okay, well here it is. So in Australian English, to chuck something is to throw it. So you could say, chuck me a beer, maybe. Or if you're a quarterback, you might chuck the football. And then a wobbly is a tantrum. So when you chuck a wobbly, you are throwing a tantrum. So now you know. <laughs> as far as this character goes, we're currently in vaults. You would normally expect a character to have two runes by this point, but we actually chickened out of Zot. Uh, not Zot. <laughs> I saw a barnacled rune of Zot and my brain went to that. We chickened out of the Shoals rune. Uh, Shoals 4 was kind of scary, so we left. So this character's a bit all over the place. We've got one rune. We're in vaults. We've done Elf 1 to 2. So I don't know what's happening. As far as what we're training, training translocations a little bit to get our passage of Gulubria a bit more castable. And then we're kind of just training towards air magic and spell casting. I guess the thinking is that eventually Tornado would be really good. But I feel like this character is kind of having some issues at the moment where we're kind of lacking power a bit, especially AoE. So I was doing some searching for books before I started recording. Um, one thing that's basically free would be Summon Lightning Spire and probably again that would be the correct pick. Again though I feel like, I don't know, some people would not be thrilled if I were to do that. Um, other options include, let me just deal with these spiders first. <laughs> okay, we could start training uh, conjurations to go towards orb of destruction and that sort of thing. Uh, we've got the book of power. How do I kill this guy? He's, yeah, he's poison immune. I guess we just go shocks. Cool. Is there, was there some reason I wanted corrosion resistance? Can't remember. Okay. Uh, I should stop fighting and actually explain what I was saying. Okay. So options we have, we could go towards orb of destruction and the book of power. Um, that would help us with single target damage, and I feel like that would be a good way to go. But I think the thing we're lacking at the moment is kind of more of a mid-range AoE sort of thing. So, um, static discharge would be nice, but without our elect, it's pretty scary to use. The other thing that we've got that I wouldn't mind would be Freezing Cloud. But that's 600 gold or so. Oh dear. Freezing cloud. Yeah, that's 630 gold and we only have 197. So that's not going to happen for a while. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is that we probably should learn Summon Lightning Spire. Ooh. This would be a really good freezing cloud room. We could just freeze everything in there. Um, our problem here is that I don't think he saw us, but the Vault Guard is going to lock us in here. Can we fit these guys? And let's go some stag discharges. That's a stone giant. That's okay. We have deflect missiles and a large shield, so we're not too afraid of projectiles. Let's get a shock all the way down the line, and actually, let's get our battle sphere out. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Battle Sphere has been kind of underwhelming. I feel like usually it's stronger than this, but I don't know. Been struggling even to kill sort of just single enemies like that. This guy's summoning. Let's try to airstrike him. I don't think it's happening. No. 
Okay, we can give it a mephitic. And again. All right, we've got too much stuff coming. Okay, never mind, we're probably gonna get trapped. We've got the warden coming. Uh, so maybe we could teleport here. We could also just maybe mephitic him. He has this great sort of distortion too, so actually we're very afraid of him. All right, we need to teleport. Do we? Yeah, because he's gonna lock us in. I was thinking we could try to passage around this stuff and out the door, or even blink. But yeah, we're likely to get locked in, so let's just read a teleport and be gone. We'll grab a. Okay. We tried to grab the Cyclops corpse on the way out, but uh, too slow, I think. He shot my battle sphere. What a jerk. Yeah, there goes our repel missiles. Also, that guy's convoker over there is summoning stuff. We'll make a battle sphere. Uh, I guess we should throw deflector missiles up again. Should go for the mephitic to confuse him. No, did not work. He summoned. All right, we have a lot of things coming. Um, this time we probably could blink through and up the stairs. Or we could try to fight. If we're going to fight, this might be the time to use channel magic because we're down to four and we still have a whole new pack of things. Let's do it. This is our first time for channel magic. Okay, there we go. We got it off. It's only a 1% fail because we trained 10 invocations for it. So we're, we've got really high magic regen at the moment. And then let's try and get... Um, I guess the Convokers are the most important because they're probably or potentially going to summon in even more dudes. Good. Okay, and our channel, our channel did not last very long. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we're all right to kind of run out of here. Maybe. Let's go. We can keep mephiticing stuff. Hey, a book. While well, these guys are all getting confused, I don't mind sort of hanging around a bit. Oh, did you see that doubles up there? <laughs> bit of value. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Reflected himself to death like an idiot. And shocks. Got a bit of lag going on. Thankfully, Static Discharge um, can still hit Invis stuff. Cool. All right. Finally, let's check out this book. Feathery Summoning. Well, this there's the Freezing Cloud that we are just talking about. This also has Conjure Ball Lightning, which actually... Okay, let's drop this plus three ring mount. We don't really need that. Um, let's have a look at our cast on this. Freezing Cloud is 65% chance to fail. Basically, we'd need to summon some ice magic for that to work. Conjure Ball Lightning is at 14. Um, that can be really powerful, especially for someone who's really fast, like a Centaur. But again, kind of like Chain Lightning, without Aralek, it's kind of suicidal. The only Aralek is on Battle Axe, which is not only incompatible with a shield, but... Um, we can't do that because we need at least RF from Wembane. Okay, we need to go up. <laughs> that guy was super tanky. Okay, let's uh, chuck down a Mephitic. Yeah, that's probably the best way to deal with that. And stack discharges. Um, don't really want to die to the Ogre Mage. So again, without mana, we'll just go up and we can reset the fight. Good. Ogre Mages are no joke because they can have Crystal Spear. Hmm, scroll blinking. We have six, okay. So I'll mark that for our shopping list, but we're not in a hurry. Also, scrolls of teleport, we've got 
13. It's actually not as many as I thought, so I'm going to mark those as well. And the magic mapping. ID scrolls, we're okay for those. One is scatter shot, I'm just going to drop. Um, they're really not that good without evocations training. Alright, so thoughts. Conjure ball lightning. I think it's a bit crazy without our elect because they ex well you have no control over them so first of all if enemies are close to you the explosions will hit you but also if there are no enemies around when they time out they'll just explode and also hit you so I think the play here might be to learn some ice magic for freezing cloud Is that the play? Yes, I think that's the play. All right, let's turn air magic off. How are we going for translocations? Passage is at 16%. That's probably okay. We'll leave spellcasting on, but we'll focus our. Uh, we need to learn it. <laughs> we need to learn it first. Put it on F maybe. F for freezing cloud. Okay, and now let's do some ice magic. It is on M. Let's focus that. I want to keep going fighting for more armor, um, sorry, for more HP and also armor. Not only will that give us more AC, but it will help us cast stuff because we've got, well, Ice Dragon Scales is a relatively light armor, but compared to, say, a robe or something, it's still relatively heavy. Zaps, nice. Okay. I should get through this door before he locks us. Too late. Uh, we'll go the airstrike. Some combination of. He's not the distortion guy. Okay, good. Um, should probably have a one of these guys, a battle sphere, and we'll keep airstriking him. And again. He is nearly dead. Let's go a Wand of Acid. Good. So now I can get out. <laughs> the Cyclops kills himself, which is always fun. Okay. He is doing much the same thing. That Stone Giant. Good. Alright, an orange glowing brain. Seeing as they don't have legs, I'm pretty confident they are flying. They are. Good. So it's another thing. Airstrike's really good. Not only do you get the bonus damage, but the smite targeting lets you hit them even through all their summons. Race fly too. There are a lot of flying enemies. You really notice it when you're an airstrike character. Ice magic to 2. What does that do? It already brings freezing cloud down to 54%. That's really promising, because it's it's a three school spell, so we've got twelve conjurations, fourteen air magic, and only two ice. It's worth also noting that when it's a three school spell, your spell casting skill is really valuable in helping you cast it. Okay, let's get away from him. Do we have all our yeah, we've got all our MR rings on, both of them. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, we're about to get trapped in. Also, don't want to get summoned. Please get Mephitic. He did not. Uh, this is too much stuff. Let's teleport again. It's kind of. Vaults can be tricky for a fast character like a centaur because um, you're going to get trapped in rooms which means your amazing speed uh, doesn't help you so much. Let's take this hatch up. We've cleared the floor above so we're not worried about that. And focusing on the wizard. Although when I run out of mana I'm just hitting stuff with Wormbane. Even without any skill in pole arms, it's still a plus 12 lance, so it's 
It's still strong. Hmm, that's a very ugly thing. <laughs> uh, we can, of course, just kite him forever with Poison Vapors and, I guess, Air Shocks. Poison Vapors are probably better. Our chances also of Mephiticing him are pretty low. Why don't we give it a chance? Yeah. Alright, we'll go some airstrikes because it's just very slow. Alright, back down. Mm, it's going to happen again. We don't want that guy to summon. There he goes. He did it. Reach 21. Um, again, more int. Always more int. Mm. We're kind of killing all this stuff with... Static Discharge, but we're also running out of mana. Um, and again, because there's a Warden here, we're not going to be able to run. So I think this might be a good time to channel magic again. Do we, we failed it. The 1% fail. <laughs> oh man. That 1% fail though. Let's try again. There we go. Which dropped us to 4 Piety. That's not a big deal. We've kind of got... Oh, he's the distortion guy. Uh, let's blink to get away from him. And we'll airstrike him. Okay, he locked himself out. Alright. And again. He locked himself out again. This guy is not real clever. If I can kill the, the distortion dude, we can just run out of here. But while he's alive, we're locked in. Last attempt. Mm. Try an acid. Try one more. Okay, got him. <laughs> so now we can now we can leave. Could have gone up the hatch, but then we would have pulled all this stuff with us. So I'd rather just run back. And um, we could be using poison vapors on that guy. Ice magic to three. Yeah, already down to 45%. Let's try a mephitic. Okay, that worked. Alright, do not want to fight a mitered skeletal warrior. Probably for those guys, we want to have a battle sphere and airstrikes. Well, actually. In this one tile corridor, Battle Sphere won't work too well. Also, <laughs> I very, very cleverly run us into a corner. <laughs> um, try not to do that. Okay, we're going to teleport again. There's been a lot of teleports on this Waltz too. Not that that's a big deal. I mean, if you're in danger, you should teleport. But, yeah. Failed Battle Sphere. What are the odds of that? 9%. Okay, that's a bit more reasonable than our channel magic was. Man, it just just keeps coming. Okay, so let's not do it again. Uh, we need to run this way. Okay. That is a deep elf sorcerer. Let's take him up. If we XV him, so his chance of banishment is only at 1%, but he has corrosive bolts and damnation. Unfortunately, um, he won't damnate us when we're next to him, but we've got to take this slowly in case we get... in case we get corrosive bolted. Okay. Fortunately, deflect missiles helps against that. Okay, we'll try some... Z that's it, that's it. Bit of static discharge. Take these guys up. It's happening again. <laughs> that didn't, guy didn't come. Do they not come when they're summoning? I didn't know that, but I guess that kind of makes sense. Because they were trying to summon stuff from this floor. So then they don't want to leave. Maybe that was a coincidence, but he was definitely... He was adjacent to us on the stair and he didn't come up. That's really interesting. 
Do you not know that? Let's go up so we don't... We're pretty hurt. Um, just use the airstrike to finish that guy off. And there's a wizard coming. And again, enemies with crystal sphere, you do not want to underestimate. Because you can die from... Well, in our case, we can have more than half HP, and then we can just die. They keep coming. Let's get our deflective missiles up again. Failed it. Failed it. There we go. Base armor at 5. This is the never ending floor. Okay. That is a storm dragon. Um, speaking of not having RLX, I think these ones aren't our poison. No. You, you kind of got to know the fire and the ice dragons and the acid dragons have our poison. Um, the storm dragons do not. Uh, oh yeah, right. Of course they're flying. So wait, we've got airstrike, and then because he's a he's a bigger one, he'll power up our wormbane. So let's use our airstrike while we can. Try not to kill him though, and then we want to finish him, finish him off with wormbane. And we should go up to plus thirteen. It didn't really. Okay. So storm dragon must have twelve hit dice. Okay, there you go. I was pretty sure that would work. Just gonna eat that fruit just to get it out of my inventory. Uh, that is a mited, very large slime creature. Let's not die to that. I'm just air striking it. Okay, mm -hmm. now I decide to split. <laughs> Check on Freezing Cloud, 38%. Okay, that was Vault's 2 done. That was really hard. It's not filling me with confidence. Um, okay, he's gonna summon stuff. Let's try and get Shock all the way down the line. Uh, Static Discharge while these guys are next to us. They, I think they shot the the battle sphere. It's kind of mean of them. He's gonna summon again. Let's test for science. Will he come up? Yeah, he did. So that's not a thing. Um, airstrike on the brain. Oh, okay. That's really interesting. So apparently, when a shapeshifter is a brain, um, even when it stops being a brain, it still gets to keep all its um, illusions, that's really interesting. Maybe we should go back to Shoals. I don't know. I feel kind of uneasy about this Vault's experience so far. Although... Oh, actually that's another thing. We never finished off Lair. We had to run because there was an Acid Blob. Yeah, how, how about we do that? I'll deal with this pack and then... Right, here's the elect variety. Once we've dealt with this pack, let's go finish Lair. And then once we've done Lair, if we can get Freezing Cloud castable, then I think we'll have a much easier time in Shoals. Let's go up. They, they keep changing to the blue ones because we're shooting them with shocks. I think that's a pretty cool thing that ugly things do. When you hurt them with one elemental type, they switch to it to get protection from it. Just clear out this pack. Alright, there's actually very little point trying to shock these deep elf archers because they have um, repel missiles, so they're hard to hit. Okay. I thought there were always traps on these squares. There's our one of digging. Okay, that's really good. So I want to ID that. Um, 
the amulet is going to drop. There's no plain one that we want. Okay, so the one of digging lets us do elf. So that's the plan. We go finish off lair. Uh, maybe that's what we wanted our corrosion for, actually. Let's get the acid scales. It's here on bullets too. Never mind, we got more enemies. Good. Okay. So we get the acid dragon scales. Just out of curiosity, we've got 22 AC, 8 EV, 14 and 10. Okay. Um, they look pretty baller in that lime yellow. Wait, lime yellow is not a thing. <laughs> it's lime green. Um, okay. Well, anyway, we're going to less six. There's a an acid blob running around, which is why I put those acid dragon scales on. That is a shining eye. Uh, it's probably a shapeshifter. These fly, surely. Again, no legs. It's flying. Um, we can also just... Because we're fast, we can just get out of its vision and not get mutated that way. And then it should... Let's leave a frog between us. It should switch, but if we have the frog, it won't have direct line of fire. Oh my god, it actually went around this way. Okay, I'm going to blink. Okay, now I can do it. So the... The frog is blocking the line of fire between us and the shining eye. And then we can use our airstrike to hit it anyway. And that way we won't get mutated. Cool. It was a shapeshifter though, so I was right about that. Freezing cloud to 13%. Wow, okay. Oh right, that's partially because we put on acid dragon scales. <laughs> I was just thinking, that's amazing. Uh, these are lighter armor. Acid Dragon Scales are the same weight as what formerly was, um, what is that thing called? Model, model Dragon Armor. So it's, it's a pretty decent armor actually, if you want to be casting spells, high level spells. Um, also, let's drop the, the Magin Bow. I don't think we're going to be using that. Um, we can look at it though, it's an interesting weapon. So it's a vamp, it gives you Arch Magi, so it increases the spell power of all your spells. It gives you extra magic points and extra int. Um, here. A tiny portion of the caster's life essence taken alongside the magic used every time. Basically, you lose a life for every magic point. Of spells that you cast while you're using it so I don't know if you're something that gets health back really well or you have lots of HP I guess centaurs do uh, but still we've got Wembane it's just it's just better okay so there's an acid blob walking around we need to be wary of that crystal ball interesting Hey, Spellbook. Right. Because we started training f Ice Magic from zero, uh, we're gaining a lot of levels, so Sif is being really happy and giving us piety again. This has a bunch of things. Well, it's got Conjure Ball Lightning again. It's also got Bolt of Cold. Can we cast Bolt of Cold? Almost. It's at 28%. Okay, so I think that's another thing we're going to do. Head towards Bolt of Cold. Um, well, let's learn that. Because that gives us a good conjuration. Um, and I guess we've started training Ice Magic, so we may as well keep going towards that one. So I'm going to swap Battlesphere around a bit, which means I need to do my macro here, just to do that. Okay. Alright, so we can't cast it just yet, but... Um, with a bit more training, we can do Bolt of Cold. Actually, we kind of... We can cast Freezing Cloud. That's probably the first thing to do against this Acid Blob. Yeah, look at it. It can hit for up to 42 damage and then deal extra Acid damage. To see these guys in less 6 is insane. Alright, so Freezing Cloud. Uh, we missed. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And then, Jellies don't technically fly. Actually, they don't fly at all. 
But I think we go our battle sphere and then we airstrike it. Good. Okay. So now I think we, we take this acid dragon scales off. And then just looking at our spells. Okay, so freezing cloud is dropping a lot. It's at 36%. But yeah. Um, it's going to be a little while. Oh man, look at this. This is perfect. It's 36% and red, but if we miscast it, Sif Moon will help us. The value here is too great. Um, I don't mind if it hits hits us because uh, we've got three points of RC. All right, let's eat. And then while these guys are sitting here in the cold, we can get some insane value from shock just by zapping down the line. I could just step out of the cold. <laughs> it probably would be wise. Okay, that was sick. The value there. Okay. And all right, we've got got more scary enemies coming. Um they're not that scary now. They were much more scary when we were actually at this point in the game. Let's not get calcified though. We learned that we learned about that one the hard way. Man, that's a lot of death yaks. Cool. That's not my search. And what loot, if any, did we find? A book. It's always nice. Okay, so we got an embroidered scarf. The cloak that we're wearing is just a plus one cloak that gives gives us strength but minus dex, so... Mm, well, okay, so a scarf with repulsion is kind of useless because it gives us repel missiles, which is less powerful than deflect missiles. And they don't stack. This book has shock. It has LRD, but that's not something we're going to mess around with until maybe later. We might... We might abuse that later to break open vaults in the extended game, but for the moment, don't really need that. Uh, did I put the cloak back on? Yes, I did. Good. All right, so that's finally our lair done. <laughs> We've got one of digging, so we can go into elf. Do I want to do elf before we finish off shoals? Maybe. Freezing Cloud will be really useful in both branches. Um, oh, let's go do Elf, maybe. Also, we're out of spell levels almost. That's okay. One of Sith's abilities is you can trade some piety to forget spells. It's like having Scrolls of Amnesia. Of course, you can always use... Am I just not spelling? Amnesia? No, there just aren't any Amnesia Scrolls. Anyway. Um, with Sif, you can still forget spells pretty freely, so that's that's always handy. Yeah, I feel like let's go do Elf. Now we have Digging. Into Elven Hills, Elven Halls 3. How are we for magic mapping? We literally have none. <laughs> it's only the one in the shop? Yeah, okay. That's okay. Alright, so here's our Elven Halls 3. We're going to have to try to find um, the end vault without magic mapping. If you have spare magic mapping, um, Elf 3 is a good place to do it. So you don't accidentally just wander into the end vault and suddenly meet all the dangerous elves. I'm a bit nervous actually, because I just remember, okay, it's not just stone wall, it's good. It looks like a little funny vault with the stairs here. Has it got all three? No. That is really strange though, how it's got these two together. Okay, uh, this door. It's okay. 
Alright, so I'm not going to auto explore. Um, I'm going to be manual exploring until I find. Okay, I lied. No, we're going to manually explore until we find the end vault. So we're looking for stone walls that are not these ones we just came down. Okay. Trying to stick to the outside. And I want to use airstrike now on the the animated weapon. Because I'm more afraid of that dude than I am of the the random deep elf mages. That is an orc high priest. I would suspect that Saint Roker is around, but we know he's in in the snake pit. We left him there. Okay. Oh, shops. Deflect missiles down. I want to start running because they all have ranged weapons. So now that we've got it up, we can turn to fight again. Fire elementals fly. That's extra extract value. And this is an evocable shop. Uh, it's the empty ones, so they're cheap. The only main thing here that I would want would be maybe a wand of clouds, but it's not that exciting without evocation skill. Um, it's better earlier in the game. Okay, this has got to be our end vault here. So we're going to X that out. Um, oh. Got to take those guys slowly and carefully. Um, yeah, so we've got stone walls here, which is probably the end vault. Let's just check. I don't think this is part of it. No, it's not. Okay. So we're going to do the outside first. Don't... Oh, okay, never mind. It's one with multiple entrances. Okay. All right. So we've alerted some of them. Now you're going to see why I wanted a wand of digging. So we're going to dig some kill holes. Um, I probably would rather go up. Okay, so we're in this kill hole here. We can only see one tile there, but it means we can now dig up to get ourselves out of here and then center speed away if we need to. Um, I probably I could even just dig the up bit now. I feel like it's unlikely for monsters to walk all the way around there to get to us when they could just come this way. All right, so let's dig up now. We'll preemptively do that. Okay, I guess static discharge will be our our weapon of choice. One downside of having the um, the path out already dug is that um, it means first of all for the blinking ones they can blink behind us. But also for the demonologists, they could summon demons behind us. I think that's how it works. Anyway, uh, we did it. <laughs> Alright, so again, we want to kind of try to do the outside first. Uh, that probably means there's a another entrance on this side. So I'm just going to do that just to kind of guess. Stuff of air. Um, I'm going to pick that up. That's good to have. Um, not only does it give us our elect, which means we could start using those um, elect spells. So the static discharge and the summon ball lightning, but it also is an enhancer for our air spells. The problem with it is that in our current loadout, we can't really wear it or wield it because then we have a vulnerability to our fire. What we can do soon though, is, well, soon, <laughs> I'm doing the inverted quotes with my hand here, but if we make it to 1200 gold and we get this amulet with three points of RF, um, that would allow us to do this. But for now, I think we can't. So we keep wielding Wormbane and we just focus on getting these 
um, ice magic spells, freezing cloud, and bolt of cold going. And then, yeah, soon, soon TM, um, we can maybe go towards those other air spells. May as well get value. <laughs> I just reposition to make sure the static discharge would get on both of them, even though they're both fairly low level enemies at this point. What did he have? Oh, it was a quarter stuff. Okay. What is with all these? Oh. He's got a ring of poison resistance. What a boss. Outplayed. Okay, gotta be careful with these guys. Annihilators are always scary. They have uh, Iron Shot and Crystal Spear, both that do a lot of damage, but also Lightning Bolts do a lot of damage as well. Although fortunately, we can try to miss all of these or avoid them with Deflect Missiles. So I think we want to airstrike him. And now Stack Discharge. Okay, got him. Let's back up so no more Dangerous Elves come out while we're low on mana. This guy is being very annoying. Okay, uh, we're trying to pick up an artifact ring. Let's ID it. Fly and strength plus three. Okay, no thank you. We can ignore that. Okay, just thinking. All right, uh, we want to get away from this stuff. The Blade Master is scary enough when we're not corroded by the Deep Elf Sorcerer. Uh, I guess we can... He's got an Artifact Whip and we're being told by Poisonous Vapors that it wouldn't affect him. So that Whip must have um, our poison on it. Um, okay, well we definitely don't want to take this hatch up. I don't like this but um, the Hall of Blades, even though it's a ruined area, isn't prevented from happening with hatches. Sorry, so when vaults are made, um, the vault maker has the option of giving it a, a no teleport into flag. And if they don't have that, you can teleport in, you can get hatches in, or you can even get shafted into it. Um, some transporter vaults, for instance, I think really should have them but they don't, so you can get shafted or hatched into them. But the one that I'm talking about at the moment is the Hall of Blades. So even though it's a, a ruined area, if you take hatches up from Elf 3, you can land in there. And because it's really big and it represents a rather large area in Elf 2, um, if you ever take a hatch up from Elf 3, there's a very, very good chance that you end up landing inside so we're gonna, I guess just throw a Mephitic, yeah. Oh man, we actually got the Blade Master. Uh, well, let's just back up anyway. Let's go a Battlesphere. Yeah, cool. And we can just airstrike him. Oh man, we actually got him. Okay. Apparently this one Blade Master is really vulnerable to Mephitic Cloud. Um, not that interested in identifying the Scorch Whip. Am interested in going this artifact ring though. It's got MR and in plus 3 on it and C invis. Strength minus 5, that's not a big deal. Um, so strength does two things primarily. Gives you extra damage on your weapons, which we don't care about. And it helps you with your encumbrance for your armor. But we have 18 at the moment. And this Ice Dragon Scales only requires 11 encumbrance. So we've got way more strength than we need. So I think we ditch one of our protection from magic rings. We ditch our C Invis ring. And we put this one on. Uh, we need to pick it up first though. That would probably help. Okay. So that gives us a little extra int as well as C and Viz. Don't care at all about stealth. Um, centaurs have poor stealth anyway because they have hooves for, for feet. Okay. 
Okay. I want to be careful of him. His negative energy bolts will really hurt, and we don't have any RN. That's true. Yep. No RN at all. Did not see us, even with all our, our stealth penalties going on. Miscast Battlesphere? Okay, uh, this is getting bad. Okay, do not want to fight a bunch of things and an Annihilator. So we're going to dig into the wall. Um, because I want to save my mana for the Annihilator, I'm just going to hit this guy with Wormbane. And this guy. Okay. Give him a poison vapors. Um, he's gonna have to sit on this tile in the poison cloud. And then let's go stack discharge. Wow. That did a lot of damage to him. <laughs> okay, similar thing. Give him the poison cloud and then let's start stack discharging. But again slowly. Yeah. And I hope you're seeing why I thought um a wand of digging is really important to have to do elf on this character because uh, we'd be having to fight all those guys at once without it. Or like this guy, <laughs> he's stuck in the open. So same thing, poison cloud and static discharge. All right. Mm. We lost our, I think I just immediately throw up Deflect Missiles again, just in case uh, he wants to cast more Corrosive Bolts at us. Alright, let's airstrike this guy. Good. Wanted to do it while the Death Mage wasn't in view. Okay, uh, well we lost our Deflect Missiles, but I think we we just wait. Because it's more important to just kill that guy. Hmm. We need to run. We've got a demonologist and a deep elf death mage casting. Um, what's that thing? The death soul thing. Look at it bounce off the plants. It's so crazy. All right. Okay. So let's put deflect missiles back on. And there's a whole bunch of stuff down here. Okay. So the deep. Deep Elf Death Mage has again our poison. I like how it just tells you that. As in, even if you didn't know that yet, it's not it's not even the case that you can cast the poisonous vapors on him and then find out, hey, it doesn't actually do anything. It just it will not let you do it, even though you should not know that he has our poison. Cause say if you you can befit cloud things with our poison and it won't complain. But you cannot do Poison Cloud. I don't know. I feel like that's a bit of an oversight. Let's go up. We do not want to fight a Demonologist in the open like that. Okay, we're out of mono. Right, good. And, oh, he went away. Okay, well, we can airstrike him. Let's get a Battle Sphere. That's a Sentinel. I was going to say... It's really good to fight Demonologists and other summoners on stairs because you can always just go back upstairs when they summon and the summons will never come with you. Round two. Nowhere near as difficult that time. Same thing. We are trying to pick up a ring. Uh, let's not ID it. Let's just show up the Acid Dragon Scales. Maybe we'll need it for when we do... <laughs> Curse my 6 Evasion. For when we do the Slime Pits, but uh, we can always come back and get it. Curse my 6 Evasion. Nice. That's also the first Evasion Ring we've seen this whole game. Oh, okay. I played that too quickly, but um, if I had S airstruck the lost soul first 
um, it would have died and then it, it wouldn't have been able to resurrect the Deep Elf Death Mage. This is such a funny hallway here. That guy has Leech? Yeah. Artifact, Vamp, Sword. It's pretty strong. It lets you um, Vamp on every attack. Let's just throw down the Mephitic because these guys are being really annoying. And Poisonous Vapors, the guys behind us. We'll just, we'll just get them all and then we'll cast some Shocks. As long as no dangerous elves like that guy turn up. Okay, let's go Static Discharge. Okay, good. Um, we can always blink and or dig out of here, which is why I'm not too afraid. Okay, he went down to leech. Um, sorry, the leech guy went down to a poison vapors. Okay. Um, an artifact robe I don't really care about. I'd rather have more AC than a robe would provide. Again, another thing that you might notice watching my mages, I don't like being complete glass cannons. Oh yeah, we learnt that Mephitic Cloud is really good against them. <laughs> There's a, the level 3 spell still going strong in Elf. Cool. We've got a new book. Book of Fire. Okay, well we, we're already going into the into the magic, uh, sorry, into the ice direction. Although it does have, what's that spell called? Ignite poison, which is interesting with Mephitic Cloud. Um, but yeah, no, don't think so. We'd have to train poison and transmutations. Two things that we don't really want to do. Oh, our battle sphere went down. Okay, that's all right. Um, we can get him with poison vapors. He should tick out, I think. One more, just for luck. No, it's a strong annihilator. Oh, okay. Are these guys flying? No. Okay. So we can't really do much to them other than Wembane. <laughs> they're immune to all our spells and they're not flying, so airstrike doesn't hurt them much. And I don't think we've seen a single... Uh, what are those guys called? Um, Elementalist. I'm going to go Shift X, Control E to forget our exclusions. And we should go over to the entrance where our kill hole is dug. But yeah, they're the dudes that blow up kill holes, but we haven't seen any, so that's good. Um, let's throw a freezing cloud down. Ah, uh, that wasn't freezing cloud. That one is. And, okay. It looks like we've kind of killed most of the people in here. Maybe it might just be some stragglers. Oh yeah, right, I was saying about the robe. I don't like my casters to be glass cannons. So, um, I don't think I'm going to want to use a robe. Make a battle sphere just for a bit more extra DPS here. Does it? He doesn't shoot. Of poison vapors, how am I only just realizing this now? Is that true? Why are we failing our battle sphere? Just failed it twice in a row. Okay, so poison vapors. Yeah, it really doesn't trigger the battle sphere. Okay, that might be a major part of why at the beginning of this episode I was saying I've been a bit underwhelmed by battle sphere. Uh, probably because a lot of the time I think it should be doing stuff of poison vapors, but there you go, it doesn't. Very interesting. We have another an artifact ring. 
Random Telly, no thank you. Should pick up this box of beasts. Even without any evocations, it's still a fairly powerful item. I will just eat the fruit. A manual of air magic. Wow. Okay, we're so lucky. I'm glad that we came to elf. All right. Uh, well, let's let's turn our air training back on. Um, cause how we're we going for ice magic. Freezing cloud is at twenty six percent. Bolt cold is forty one. Um, so it's still gonna be a while. Just wanted to check. We've still got three points of MR. Okay, well we've got to drop. Let's just drop the ring of magical power. I can't see us using that. Okay, so we've got plus four to our aptitude for air magic, so plus three total. Um, I think that's worth just turning on. Um, it's going to help our freezing cloud as well. So yeah, it will be will be assisting. Um, Chainmail is too heavy. Quicksilver Dragon Scales, I wonder. Is that better? Let's test it out. This is 17.9. 22.7. No, I'd rather just have the extra. Is that true? Is that true? Because I think it's not true actually. Okay, if we ditch the Ice Dragon Scales just for the moment, we can wear the Quicksilver Dragon Scales, so that gives us extra MR, which means we could take one of our MR rings off, and we could put Wizardry on. And what does that do for our spells? Um, it makes them all very castable. Huh. We have one RF and one RC. Is that better though? So this is 36 um, defenses. Let's drop some stuff. Let's get rid of, let's say, I want all this stuff. We've got too many books. Let's drop the book of. Let's drop all these books. Uh, not the manual of ice magic though. And yeah, we can always come back if we want any of these spells. Um, although conjure ball lightning might be one of them. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, there are too many decisions going on. This character's too hard. Um, we're gonna drop the transparent chain mail though. Okay, so this is 36 total defenses. And this is 39. No, this is, wait, we don't have anything on. Oh yeah, we do. No, that can't be right. This is 29. And this is 26. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I don't know. I think maybe I still like having the Ice Dragon Scales. Yeah, and we not worry about these spells. Because we can still cast them anyway. It's not like 26% on Freezing Cloud is um, no good when we have Sif with Miscast Protection. Uh, scale Mail again, probably too heavy. Book of Transfigurations, no thank you. Alright, so that's our L3 done. The manual of air magic is really good. Um, this ring of calf tume is kind of good, but not amazing. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of what can happen, or at least happen to me when I'm playing Sif, because she gives you so many spells. You just your character can go in so many different ways that it's hard to decide. Alright, well I think we're going to go, let's just go finish off Shoals. Now we have, um, now we have Freezing Cloud. Um, it should be a lot easier. Oh dear, I wish the, 
I wish the auto travel hadn't just brought us right down next to a Kraken. Kraken. Wow. Okay. Uh, we need to blink away. Uh, it has a chance of failing because we're in a net. But I think that's better than just trying to get out of struggle out of the net while the Kraken um, can hit us with all of its legs while it's next to us. So let's go blink. Okay, we got out. Uh, that was insane. Let's run away from the Kraken. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Auto Travel. That was a, a bit of a nightmare. Um, I think what we do is X out the stair down so that never happens again. Jeez. All right. What's head down to shoals for? All oh, right, Mara's here. I remember. I remember why this was so part of why this was so bad. Let's not get calcified. Good. Right. Yeah, Mara's here. Okay. Well, at least we have freezing cloud. Freezing cloud should help out with Mara. Although one thing we'll have to do immediately if we see Mara is well so let's get on this stair. That's not yeah, it's not cracking stair up. Um just in case we see Mara, then we can immediately leave. But we, we're gonna need to put our RF ring on. Because we currently by default we don't have any RF. This stair we don't know. And the reason we never went down here is that because that's where Mara was. Okay, we immediately lose our protection from deflected missiles, but that's okay. This guy should get... Usually they do get confused. He did not, though. Let's go back up. Uh, get on the stair. Okay, there's a snapping turtle. Let's get our, our magic back before we deal with him. And put our deflected missiles back on. And I guess we take him up so Mara doesn't appear while we're dealing with this. Okay, I don't want to take any more shots. Um, we'll just we'll kite him out with airstrikes and poison vapors. There's another Kraken. We don't have a good way of dealing with them. Actually, that's a liar. We can freezing cloud them now. So maybe we should deal with the Krakens. Hmm. Oh, that's another snapping turtle. Let's get our mana back. I uh, will do a similar thing. We'll pull him upstairs. Uh, all the way up, probably. <laughs> they're, they're too heavily armored. <laughs> Even our, our battle sphere just does nothing. The battle sphere. <laughs> Does nothing. Okay, I just wanted to check. We still did have deflecting missiles up. Not anymore though. Good. What you can do in a situation like that is because you know that um the merfolk have pull arms, so they can hit you without coming adjacent to you. If you're standing on a stair, you can abuse the fact that you know that they're not going to come up stairs with you. Guess we just airstrike that guy. Man, a deflected missiles is really. Not doing too well here in, in Shoals, but that's okay. It's doing its job. What we could do... Ah, yes, we do have the stuff of air with us. Okay. So we could put that onto B. So, um, basically, how good your deflected missiles is depends on its spell power. So actually, when we're going to cast deflected missiles, if we switch to our stuff of air first, so long as we don't miscast it, there we go, we feel a surge of power, it means that it will be stronger. Yeah, that's something that's definitely worth doing. 
Okay, it still did not last long, but all the same. Let's go eat this guy. Now mine. Um, okay, same thing. Oh man, same thing in terms of not lasting very long. Okay. This seems to be the shoals that's open. Um, I haven't seen any of those sort of huts that you normally get. Ice magic to 10, how far do we go? Maybe to 10. Hmm. Okay. All oh, right, these guys are flying. Should be air striking them. Ran out of mana though. <laughs> okay, so yeah, with this open level, freezing cloud is not actually as useful as it is when they're in huts. Because normally you go to the hut entrance and then you just freezing cloud them all inside. Whereas on this occasion, everything's in the open. Where is Ilsu? I have not seen her. This guy has distortion. Uh, he needs to be killed before he can get on top of us. Um, why don't we give him the freezing cloud? And again. If he wants to get to us, never mind we failed it. He has to walk through the freezing cloud. And then we'll airstrike him. Um, did not kill him. How about a Mephitic? Okay, still did not kill him. Um, airstrike again. Okay, the problem is running into water now. Um, he has the chance to hit us. So let's go, probably an Ice Blast might be the best way to do it. Because I can't miss. Okay, well he hit us. Space is bending around us. Uh, this is bad. I guess if we get Abyss at this point, it's not a death sentence. So it's not a huge deal. Oh man. Airstrike. This guy's really tough. Okay, he went down. Okay, I don't like how that played out. Maybe instead of the Freezing Cloud, I should have just kept Mephiticing him to make sure he got confused. Oh well. We got lucky, or at least not unlucky, insofar as we didn't get abyssed. Alright. There's a lot of stuff back spawning us here. Okay, never mind. Turns out, Static Discharge is still pretty good, even at this point. Alright. Got more Water Nymphs, more Fawns, more Javelineers. No Ilsus, but a lot of Javelineers. Fortunately, we're not really affected too badly by Javelineers. This looks like a better Freezing Cloud situation. Nope. Again, don't mind. Oh man, we failed it again. 22%. Come on. Again, don't mind putting it on ourselves because we um, have full RC. Let's not get Aquamancer though. I want to have our hate, our mana for that. Okay. Oh man, he's. Do you see that? He nearly died too. We reflected his. Um, torrent of water, it hit him and slammed him into the wall. Okay, so now we can just finish him, him off with a uh, poison vapors. That's great. Is that how you thought that would go? <laughs> can we get them together? No. Reflection's so good in shoals, I love it. Oh, right, what was that book? The Handbook of Dusty Good Luck. Has regen in it. 
Uh, that's something we probably want to have. Is it castable? It is. Okay. Uh, yeah, we want to learn regen for sure. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to do a macro on F2 for regen probably. Alright, so now we can always have our regen going. Normally I'd put it um, on my one key, but we've got so many spells that want to be used with macros that um, I'm branching out into the F, F keys even though normally I don't use those. And not a big deal now, but sometime in the future, we might train a little bit of necromancy skill just to get our regen spell power up. Um, also, I'm probably not going to be casting it all the time now. Um, it'll probably become more of an issue when we're perhaps getting tormented by things and so on. Hey, there's our rune. Where is Ilsu? Well... Okay, chainmail again, too heavy. Let's grab our rune, just in case we need to teleport out of here. We can always then just leave and never come back. And, okay, this is getting really long. So, um, we'll end the episode here. In the beginning of the next one, we'll just finish off clearing our shoals for here. So, because um, there might be other books here, there might be more gold. Could be artifact rings, who knows? And then we'll head back into vaults, where I think we'll be a fair bit stronger now that we've got Freezing Cloud castable and a lot more reliable. Okay, see you then.